and welcome to Move Forward Network, where we focus on producing educational content on how to overcome anxiety, depressive thoughts, and life stressors. My name is Zach, and I'm a licensed social worker with experience in providing the tools and resources needed to assist people in handling the demands of life and how to reach their full potential. In today's content, we're going to be discussing how to get smart with goal setting. So let's get into it. So when we're when we're setting goals, the most important thing is to understand what is a goal and how is it different from an objective. So a goal is a person's desire to reach certain results. This could be an ideal weight loss. This could be reading more books. This could be a kind of being a kind of person, and the list goes on. And just so you know, with goals, they can be daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So how is that different from an objective? Well, an objective is how do we reach that goal? What steps are we going to take in place to reach that goal? Like, how are we going to get your ideal weight loss? How are you going to read more books? And how are you going to be a nicer person? So now that we discuss those two important definitions that sometimes get mixed up in between the lines. So now that we've cleared it up, now we can move forward. So in discussing about with mental health and goal setting, we need to understand that we need to have an action plan. We need to take steps and procedures of establishing what is a goal and then how are we going to accomplish it. Most people most people don't have a plan when they have a goal. They just have a goal, like they when it's summertime, they want to have that summer body or they want to have all the books read about in a certain series, but they don't really have an idea of when they're going to do that. I'm not saying it's a bad goal, but to have it to be a better goal and to reach your full potential, we want to make sure that we're dealing with SMART goals. Now, SMART is an acronym, and it stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Timely. So to break these down, we want to be specific about it. So we want to make sure that we're specific into the goals of really targeting what we want to change, what we want to improve upon. And prior to that, actually, we want to have a reason why we want to change and have a reason, because having that reason is going to help us motivate and be consistent to achieve it. So now we go to measurable. We want to give like a timeline of when we want to have that goal accomplished by. So that way we can take the proper steps and procedures to make sure that we can accomplish it. And we want to make sure that we're setting attainable goals. One of the hardest things to do is that when they're not attainable, we can feel very discouraged if we don't accomplish the goal. So if we want to accomplish that we're going to have a six pack in two weeks and we, and it's two weeks later and let's say you've lost a little bit of weight, but not the six pack weight, then you might feel a little bit more discouraged, like, why try? You know, this is so hard. I, I just don't know what to do. I, I followed the diets. I did the exercises where, you know, to get a six pack, it's going to take a while. And then we want to make sure that they're realistic. Can we really do it? Can we really accomplish it? And then timely. Can we accomplish the goal within a certain timeline? That makes sense. So let's take an example of a person who wants to lose weight. So what are your thoughts about this kind of goal? See, I want to lose weight in time for my daughter's wedding. And it needs to be done by autumn. Is that a good goal? I would say it's a good goal. Could we make it better? Absolutely we can. We can make it better by, again, being specific. And how much weight do you need to lose? Do you need to lose 2 pounds, 5 pounds, 15 pounds? Because that's an important question we need to know is like, what is your ideal weight, you know, realistic and attainable, you know, part of the, the other part of the acronyms, is it a healthy weight to be at? Because in part of being mental health, we want to make sure that our mental and physical health are linked. And you can check that in my video in the show card up there if you want to learn about how those two are linked, because we want to make sure that the physical health and mental health are both being taken care of. So let's work on making that goal a little bit better. Let's make it a smart goal. So let's make it specific. Let's say, you know, I want to lose weight for my wedding and I want to lose 15 pounds. And I want to lose it by the wedding. I want to lose it two weeks before the wedding. Let's say the wedding is in five months. So yes, it would be a smart goal was specific that we want to lose. How much weight do we want to lose? We want to lose 15 pounds. We want to lose 15 pounds two weeks before the wedding that way we can make sure our bodies are still healthy, we're taking good care of ourselves, it's measurable, 
because we know the length of time. It's attainable. Five months lose 15 pounds is plenty of time, considering the fact that a person typically loses when they're exercising, proper nutrition, and proper, proper water consumption. Someone can lose two to three pounds per week with still maintaining healthy, so that's good. So now that we took something a little bit more vague and we're making it specific. And, but how are we gonna do that? How are we, in this example, gonna achieve a goal? Well, that's why we have objectives. So the objectives might be, you know, working out three to five times a week, 30 to 60 minutes, increase fruit and vegetable consumption. So eating more fruits and vegetables into your diet with protein with, and watching the carbs because a lot of times carbs make us gain a lot of weight. So we really want to watch the carbs that we eat in this hypothetical situation. So what else we could do is we have exercising, we have water, we have fruits and vegetables, and now we could potentially have someone to keep us accountable to you know, make sure that we're exercising, eating more healthier foods, and taking care of our bodies, which is so important to have. That way you have someone encouraging you, supporting you, and making sure that you're healthy. So let me give you an example personally where I had to go from more generic to specific. So I wanted to read a book, one book every week. Well, this is what I like to call, my goal was SMA. It was specific, I wanted to read one book, it was measurable, a week, and is it attainable? Yeah, it was attainable. Was it realistic or timely? See, that's where I fell apart, where my goal was not realistic, so because with my job, a lot of times I'm developing plans with students, I'm monitoring data, and I'm taking notes or writing reports sometimes when I come home from work. And so I had to, going back to my example, I had to be smart. So instead of one book a week, one book a week, it's gonna be one book every three weeks. So by doing this, I would say so, Zach will read one book every three weeks uh, in order to learn how to help people. Because I read a lot of books about decision making, I read books about business management, and different therapy books to make sure that my skill level continues to improve and helps people. So one book every three weeks is smart. So I went from small to smart. And I think and it's been much more effective and monitoring your progress has been a lot more efficient to get these books read by. And they're, for me, they're very enjoyable books. And make sure that you have your reason why. Why do you want to work out? Why do you want to lose your weight? You don't want to lose your why. Most people, when goals are accomplished, it's because they lose their why. And that's what causes the motivation to decrease is that they lose the motivation for why do they want to do better and why do they want to improve. And when we're working together, we produce better results. Because it takes a team, it takes a village to produce better content, it takes a team village to help people and reach out and to spread positiveness and to remind ourselves that we can do this and we can accomplish it. So going forward now, I want you to work on writing a SMART goal. So in the comments below, write a goal that you're working on. And remember, if you don't wanna write a goal, that's okay, write it on a piece of paper. Let's just practice this because practice makes better. And so I want you to start practicing it. So when you, so using one of the tips to start practicing using how you're going to accomplish your goal and start living it, start being alive and start living it that you can accomplish your goals and make them a reality. So if you like this getting smart with goal setting, remember to like the like button, subscribe for more mental health videos, and I'll see you in the next video. And I can't wait like always. So have a blessed day and bye.